With Aventurine, I'm like, Oh my god, it's a puppet. What? You can't be clearer. Oh, and then the Himiko is a yank ting. A yank ting buff. Oh, oh, look at that hula. Now she's going, Ooh, I got more damage. Mmm, very, very strong. That's what I'm thinking. That's what my monkey brain is doing. I'm going, ooh, ooh, shields, ooh, ooh, follow-up attack, ooh, ooh, damage. I'm, I'm like freaking out, boys. That's how you know when a character's good. When I start seeing the passives and I start getting a little... <laughs> I did not realize how good he was going to be, and I had zero thoughts of getting him. When I saw him, I was like, yeah, no shot of getting this guy. Uh, no, no chance in hell. And I'm not talking about, like, the Acheron. I'm skipping. I'm talking, like, zero hype for this guy. Don't know why. Uh, maybe because they stole his character model from Slice and his VTuber. But, uh, I just didn't think he was gonna be necessary or good. And I'm looking at my account, and I'm like, you know what? If I had this guy, would I ever need anything else? I would have all the sustain I would ever need. He's got some really unique things in his kit. Uh, I think that the character is crack Ola. But the other thing, too, is he buffs multiple characters in the game and makes them better or just makes them more valuable or whatever you want to call it. Aventurine is crazy. So let me just give you some quick highlights. Number one, um, Aventurine gains stacks when people follow up. So anyone that has a follow-up attack got a little bit more value from Aventurine. Uh, someone like Dr. Ratio is even better and they synergize beautifully because... Aventurine can debuff the boss as well, so that's a perfect synergy. Insanity with Clara as well, uh, because Clara is able to just dish out damage, do her follow-up attacks, and um, you get this crazy cycle of shielding and AoE, and it's just it's very very nice. Uh, super super good with Clara, but honestly, I know it's I know it's a meme, I know it's a meme, but they buffed Yang Ching, they they legitimately buffed Yang Ching, because Yang Ching almost always crits. Um, Aventurine gives a, a crit damage bonus, and because he's always shielding, Yangqing is constantly uh, shielded, which means he can't lose his buff. He's always buffed, which also means he follow-ups more, which allows him to proc the shield. Like, it's crazy. Like, Yangqing actually got a buff. But any follow-up unit is going to bring some value into the team, and I could see some speedrunning type teams uh, with the, you know, Himiko, with Herda, uh, and Aventurine, because he's going to shield you the whole time. You're always safe. You're doing all these crazy follow-ups. I see a ton of potential. So my quick and dirty thoughts on Aventurine are, wow, this guy's crazy. So I'm just gonna run in so I can actually show you some of the stats really quickly. There's a, there's a, a boss that I can go fight over here, and I'll show you what he does. Um, but is he a must-pull? Based on my experience, based on what I've seen, I think I can address that. It's going to depend on where your account is, but I do not understand and I do not see how Aventurine is not on Fushuan level, but potentially in a different way. Um, I think that Aventurine will do some things better than Fushuan, some things worse. Uh, they're both providing crit value, crit damage, which, uh, uh, in the case of Aventurine, crit right in the case of her. She has damage mitigation and healing. Aventurine has so many shields you just don't ever take damage, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, I think they're both really good, and obviously they're different elements. Um, we've got this crowd control stuff. Um, you're immune to crowd control for one turn. Well, you're, you're kind of immune to crowd control because of what Aventurine does. I'll show you that in the test run. They're both insanely good units, but, uh... In my thought process, I'm going, why not both? Why not both? I'll just have both units. They'll both be crazy. They'll both be insane. And I'll never die. I'll never die. I could put them on the same team and literally never die. Push the, the hardest content in the game. Or I put one on one team, one on the other. And I just think I have, like, insane sustain. So, that's where I'm at. Let me just show you really quickly in-game kind of what his kit does. Uh, this is a little loud here. Let me let me turn that down a little bit. Um, okay, so you might have noticed I started the fight with a shield. Everyone on my team is currently shielded, which is cracked. 
Let me just move my body here so you can you can see some of this stuff because I think this this stuff over here is a lot more important to look at. So I can just play through this kind of like normally, and I'll, I'll shout out a few things here. Uh, but let's let's get spicy. So before the enemy gets a turn, I want you to see this. Aventurine uh, has this buff or this yeah this this buff. This is the shield. It's a three turn shield, kind of like Fushuan's. Three turns for him. These characters are on two turns. That's because they took a turn. But it's a three-turn buff, okay? Now, any time he uses his skill or his follow-up attack, he will apply more shields, and he will reset this buff, okay? Which is really cool. Now, it also pro uh, applies effect resistance, which is cracked. Uh, super, super good. It's going to help you mitigate a lot of uh, different debuffs in the game. On top of this, though, he has this bingo effect. So when anyone does a follow-up attack, he gains a stack of his passive. What is his passive? His passive is a, a counter of seven. If you look at his... Is it his talent here? Yeah. It's a counter of seven, and when this goes off, he does a follow-up attack. The follow-up attack will give you uh, a little bit of damage to the enemies, break some shields, but it's mostly to apply and reapply this shield... Um, as, as well as, as, well, yeah, just to reapply the shield, really. Like, that's the main thing. Uh, it's a smaller shield than the skill, but it's still a valuable way to keep your team alive. And this can be triggered from both your teammates being hit and the follow-up attacks. So, follow-up units just bring more value to the team, because they're going to get hit eventually anyways. But I want to show you kind of how this functions. Okay? So, I'm going to attack. I'm just going to, you know, do my thing here. Uh, I'm gonna use my ultimate on this guy. Sure, why not? And I'm going to do a follow-up attack. So this is gonna give me one stack of the passive. As long as I got that, boom. I've got one stack of the passive. I got hit, AoE, I got two stacks. Oh no, sorry. It's because he got hit, he got two stacks. That wasn't AoE, my bad. If he gets hit, you get two stacks. If other people get hit, you get one stack. If it's AoE, everyone uh, is getting stacks generated on here. Now here's the best part. Okay, so I want this guy to attack me a couple times. You can overstack! You can overstack on it! So I got that, and then watch this. AoE. Boom, boom, boom. I'm at nine. So now I do the follow-ups. I'm back up at three. It is so cracked. It is so cracked, bro. That is nutty. Nutty professor. Okay, so that's cool and all. I love that. Uh... Let's attack, do our thing, follow up attack, we're at four stacks. Beautiful. We can keep attacking. We're almost going to get into it again. As soon as this enemy gets a turn, we're pretty much going to get back into it. Oh, unfortunately they attacked Dr. Ratio, so that's the one thing. If uh, if your unit isn't shielded, then it, it won't apply. So that's, that's the only one thing. Uh, so in this situation, because I wasn't shielded, I didn't get the follow up attack, uh, you know what? I'm weak here. So you got to make sure you're paying attention to skill points because uh, I'll just show you when I cycle through. Okay. When he actually uses his skill, it gives you a massive shield. His skill is like is, is like two or three times the amount of shield uh, as the follow-up attack. So you definitely want to throw these in once in a while just to kind of top up and bring you uh, to the max. But this is also a good way to show this. Um, if you look at my characters here, uh, I've got a 405 shield. Uh, she's at 8... 811 right now he's at 1300 okay so if i shield up this will stack with my current shields boom and now he is at 2700 1700 shield 1300 shield 2100 shield like this is a lot of hp uh, and damage mitigation right there so that's really really cool um there is a cap there is a limit i think in this test run it's about 2800 it's based on his stats uh but that is awesome now the one thing we haven't shown off is the ultimate ability. So the ultimate ability is also going to activate your passive or, or potentially activate your, your, your follow-up attack because it's going to give you a random amount of those points. It is also going to uh, do single target damage and now it's going to boost up your crit damage against a particular target. So if I use this bad boy on this boss, I'm at six stacks. It's going to depend on what you roll here. It could be... Okay, I got a few stacks. I got like four stacks there. I overcapped. I did my follow-up. I've given my teams more shields. If you remember before, um, so he was maxed out. 
She's now looking juicy. He's looking juicy. It's crazy. It's, oh, it's so fucking good, dude. It is actually so, so good. Um, I don't know. I did not expect this. I gotta be careful not to kill all this stuff, but... Like, as soon as I do this, I'm going to get it again. I'm going to get the shield again. It's going to reapply it again. I don't know. I'm sold. I'm so sold, it's not even funny. Boom, follow-up attack. Shred the shields. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to retreat because I'm, I'm going to fight this again. I, I want to just keep testing things, but my quick and dirty answer for Aventurine is... I'm most likely going to try to pull him. I don't have a ton of wishes. Uh, and I just got Aven uh, or Acheron. So I don't have pity. I've got none. If I miss, I miss. But I am literally going to pull. I'm going to go for him. I'm going to use him. And uh, that's all there is to it. I hope I get him. I really hope I get him. I'm going to use him with my Acheron team because he provides a debuff. And uh, I'm going to have a good time, bro. On top of that, I just realized this as well. Uh, what is the light cone? Here we go. This is the thing I did not realize. Is this light cone that I've heard is crazy with Acheron, it has a defense bonus! He scales with defense! So, uh, this might be crazy for Acheron. I can apply the crit damage debuff... And then I can boost up his, his defenses. I can burn them for other deb debuffs. I think this would be an insane combo. Aventurine plus this would be nuts. Nuts. And maybe there's a better light cone. Maybe there's a different light cone. I don't know. But um, I'm starting to research. I'm starting to look. Is, it, is, it, is there any other like preservation ones that I need to worry about? I don't even know. They're all up here, right? Uh, effect resistance. Uh, damn. I mean, this maybe this damage one would be interesting. I don't know. I don't know, but he is really cool to me. He is super, super cool to me. I guess this one is also pretty cracked because the all type res and the defense here. But um, he's good. Is he better than Fushuan? I don't. I don't know if he's better, but he's different. Um, I think he's better depending on your account and the and the units that you're using. Do you want more crit damage? Or do you, do you need more crit rate? Um, I think that there's there's potential for both of them, but. He is damn good. I do not understand. I, I I just... I do not understand how he's not S tier. I do not understand how he wouldn't be, like, on the tier list. Um, godly. In in everything. Like, let me see here. Is there is there a... Like, a sustain location? He's gotta be. He's gotta be S plus tier. Would I want him more than Hua Hua? Probably. Wahua, uh, I don't know. She's she's really good for cleansing. But if they have effect res, will I get debuffed? Maybe I'll never get debuffed. He is going to be S plus tier. Or, or, or like right here in the S tier minimum. I just don't understand how he wouldn't be. I want him more than Luocha all day. Honestly, I should even say that. Do not fucking get Luocha. You can get some other cleansers. But you cannot tell me that Aventurine is not better than Luocha. At least not for me. I guess, I guess Aventurine doesn't have the, like, this guy can, can, um, strip buffs, which maybe is important. I guess there, there's value in both in different ways, but I don't know. For me, I want Aventurine way more. Way, way more. In Pure Fiction as well. Like, if anything, if anything, he'd almost be better in Pure Fiction. Or, or, or sorry, he, he would be just as good. He'd actually be worth bringing... Because he's hitting enemies, breaking shields, potentially setting off chain reactions. Like, I'm thinking of a team with a Venturine, and then the 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 Himiko, the Herda, and then maybe someone like Ruin May. And then no matter what enemy spawns in, I've probably got some elemental coverage to break them for Himiko, to damage them uh, for my Herda. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I think Aventurine is crack Ola. Top tier. Top tier. But do you already have Luoja? Do you got Fushuan? Do you have all these sustains? Do you have um 
Huahua, like, I don't know where you're at. For me, I only have one five-star sustain in the game other than... Other than... Fucking... Or Bob! Oh, shit! Maybe I don't need a Venturine, baby! Maybe I don't need him! We got a Venturine! Eesh. But, that's where I'm at. Uh, seemingly free-to-play friendly. And the thing is, is like, I can't even see what some of the passives are. Maybe there's a passive in there that I don't know about that's even crazier. But, for right now, ya boy, m -tashed, is very, very happy with Aventurine. Overall stats, overall value, overall team potential. He can work everywhere! He can work with... Here's the beautiful thing. Is Dr. Ratio is a free character. I know you all have Dr. Ratio, which means... You have one of the best units in the game to be doing damage with him. You also have a debuff from him for Dr. Ratio, meaning, meaning that Aventurine is a good support for Dr. Ratio. So they're going both ways. They're both getting value out of each other. Aventurine cracked with him. Um, I mean, any, any DPS, honestly. Any DPS is good. I, I just don't understand how you're not getting value. The only DPS... The only DPS that is bad is Blade. Because Blade needs to take HP damage to, to, to get value. This is the only unit in the game that's bad for uh, Aventurine. But everyone else is going to get value. Clara got just as much value. She got more value. She's even stronger than before. Way stronger than before. Anyone that does any sort of follow-up just got a buff. Himiko is a better unit now. She is stronger now. And, and, like, bro, I'm just, I'm starting to spin here. I'm starting to think about this. If she can't take damage, she can't lose her crit rate buff. If she's always shielded, she can't lose value. She's just better and better and better. Add on to that then. I, I had to, I had to confirm with chat here, but that is super true. Wahua is a lot better for dot teams. Aventurine is bringing nothing to the tail for dot teams other than keeping you alive. So, like, maybe for other people that have dot accounts they view things very differently maybe the the things that they're valuing is just completely different but for me uh on my account on the units that i'm using dr ratio i've got my acheron um i've got so many good supports like come on boys we got we got like a trifecta here of gods we, we we've got a a, a max out ting yun i've got some cool nihility characters i've got honestly support uh support units on lock debuffing units as long as i've got Pela and silverwolf i'm good i think the only thing i'm really missing is is maybe like a, a a premium premium sustain unit for my other team i've been getting by i've been getting by with my links my links is good i could get her e6 here right awesome that's amazing or maybe i bench her for the rest of her damn life because i'm about to get aventurine i could still win the uh lose a 50 50 that is a thing i could still lose this but damn Damn. What's our pity at? <laughs> We're starting to look at the pity. We're like, oh, oh 